Hi, my name is Christopher Hart. I'm a cartoonist and the author of many books on drawing cartoons, manga, figure drawing, and all sorts of stuff. And you can find it at Michael's, Amazon, Barnes Nobles, Hobby Lobby, Joann's, just about everywhere. So I'd like to show you today how to draw uh, a pretty kind of glamorous uh, manga girl face. I'm getting some requests for that. And we're going to start off loosely, as usual, the best way to draw it, in my opinion. And then we will go in and I'll darken it once we get the drawing the way we want it, or close to it. I'm just going to kind of block it out now rather than just wing it. So follow along with me and I'll be stopping at certain places so you, you can catch up and work with me. So here we go. This is a the basic shape of the manga head. All right, that's the center line. You can be a little messy, doesn't matter. And the eye line is low on the face. The eyes go right here where the forehead goes in and then the cheek goes out here. Now I'm going to put some eyes right around here. Just block them out with the upper and bottom eyelids. And add just a little bit of indication of the nose, just a little indication here. And I'm going to bring the, ch the cheek areas out here. Now I'm going to bring it out this way, the chin out a little bit. Give us a little more room for the chin. And a nice little smile. Straight line across, but further back. And you don't have to close the mouth. The audience, the re reader sees it and they know what's going on. They know that that mouth is actually a closed mouth. I'm going to bring this up just a, a touch, a little more arched like this. And the bottom of the eyelids are a little bit flat. And let's put an oval in each one. That's good. We have a nice high arched eyebrow. Now we're going to bring, this is an important point a lot of people miss. You have to also modify the basic shape of the head because the line of the jaw doesn't go to the outside of the head, it goes inside. So this is going to have to taper like this. And when that happens, you may want to just adjust the neck a little more. So there's really no way of doing it one and one, one stop. You've got a few different few different stops along the way, and that's what makes it work. Let's bring those eyelashes out. And as I say, we're going to finish this up in a moment. We'll bring the ear inside of the head, see inside of the outline of the head. And we're going to have the hair coming down here. Those, you know those strands, those manga strands of hair that come before the ears? And the other side too. That gives us some depth. You see it on the front, and the back, so that makes it look like the, the face has some depth. A little bit of shadow here. We're very close. Flop some hair over, right over the eyes, like that. Now, this is the back of the head, but we're gonna add a little size onto it, like this. See that? I'll erase the basic egg shape. And then, a little sweep of a ponytail like this. Let's give her a shoulder raised like this. That's kind of a nice look, isn't it? Kind of a cute look. Now, let us go. We are going to take what we have now that we've found what we want. And it's flat down here, right? Round, flat. Now that we found the placement, we can go in and, and concentrate more on the details. You don't want to be trying to work on the details and the foundation at the same time. It's confusing. So let's put the pupil in and shadow just below the upper eyelid. And a shine, like so, and thicken the outsides. You end up with a nice 
glistening look to the eyes. A little bit of shadow under the nose. That straight smile curls up just a little at the ends. Like that. Okay, now let's put those eyelashes on her. And now this is the pleasing part of the drawing, really pleasing part of the drawing. Nice rounded front of the face. That really will catch the viewer's attention. And down to a very tapered chin. Bring the neck back deep inside. Has to go deeply inside. A little crease, a little crease, see that? And finish the rest of the head, but right now let's just get that shoulder moving. You notice that the shoulder is in a diagonal position. It's going this way, not up and down. So the strands come up from above the head. Here's an errant strand, just, just so they don't all look like they stay exactly together. Nice, thin, arching eyebrow. And here's the ear back here. And now let's put some of these strands in. We're not going to fill out the whole thing. The, the, the reader, the audience, is going to see that we mean bangs. We're not going to put every single piece of hair, define every single piece. That would get very monotonous. So you just sort of suggest it. Everything is a suggestion, and the reader's eye fills in a lot of it. Put a few flowers, little fuzzy kind of fun things here. And there you go. There is your pretty manga female character. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Hey, please subscribe. I have new videos I upload every Monday. Post a comment, post a request. I read them all. And I get back to just about everybody. Thanks so much. See you next time. Bye-bye.